Hey, good evening, Erica. Boxes like this one just went active about an hour ago. Now, we got this story from a tipster. That tipster believing dozens of spaces in the area right behind us that used to be free are no longer. And that tipster believing dozens of people who live and work in this area are impacted. It had never been an issue. We always find something on the streets. But at the streets of Union and Ohio, neighbors are finding at least four of these these days. Newly installed pay for parking boxes with freshly taped up warning notes and posted seven day paid parking signage where none existed only days ago. So it's frustrating. It just comes as a huge surprise. Yeah, honestly, I got in my car yesterday and drove to the Target and came back and saw them all. So. Gina Perry lives nearby and says until Thursday she depended on parking here free of cost. Now her fiance is looking for parking elsewhere. The cheapest nearby just shy of $200 per month. Now people are going to have to rearrange finances to be able to afford just to park their cars. The money from parking fees goes to a private company. The city says they can install new boxes wherever it has an alderman's approval and the city council votes on it. It needs to be much more open. People need to have a say about what's going on with these things. Does that make it even more frustrating? It does. It's absurd. A representative for Chicago Parking Meter says the new boxes aren't added often and they don't request new locations. That normally comes from the community, often businesses who want more parking turnover to make it easier for customers. But it's unclear who requested these pay boxes. Frustrating, I'm sure, for everybody around here. We reached out to the alderman that represents this area, his office, telling us that they had no comment on this story. Live in River West, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News.